I said I'll get it to work, and I did. Age bridge. Empowering the two electromagnet. Let me cut it off. But the thing is, is I'm running it with 12 volt, and I just don't want to have to stick this to anything more than 5 volt. Putting another step up, and I like the idea. So, I'm gonna give a little try of trying to activate it mechanically, maybe with a stepper or something. If that doesn't work, or a DC motor, if that doesn't work, I think I'll I have a plan B. So, let's give it a try. So yesterday, while working at Window Offer, he asked me, you know, why to just use the speaker. And I decided it's a good idea. And you can hear the result. So I'm not gonna look for a mechanical solution, I'm just gonna replace it with this create speaker that I'm using anyway to read the numbers and the entire UI. Brilliant! Now I can put it all back into the box. So my next very really big desk will be to gather all of this, probably on this breadboard. And then I'm gonna use some of the original loom to reconnect this through here, the dial phone, the dial itself through here as well. Uh, probably everything that is connected to the sound right now here will be also reconnected from here. So I'm gonna reuse this part. Um, yeah, so lots of soldering, lots of wires, let's get it going. At this point I turned to fritzing just to create some form of schematics and of what connected to where, so I can also lay out uh, how it's gonna look on the PCB. So that's the general layout I think I'm gonna work with, and this is will just go in here, just bigger. Under this, this will go here, and I think I'll create a mount for the speaker to stand like this here. Well, soldering. First step, all the sockets are in place, and the step down is soldered directly to the PCB. It's just not that PCB friendly, so I didn't want to put any sockets. Next thing is to get all the power through the board. We got power in the SIM 800. Next step, I need to get all the wires to the logic level converter and get a ground for the ESP. One more step done, I got all the wiring and I've checked that the ESP is stuck into the SIM and it works great. Next step is to get the I2S wired and get all the wires that goes out both from the SIM and from the ESP. I2S soldered and working. Everything powered from the same place. There's always USB. Three ways. I can't put the SIM right now because I cannot disable my phone. Uh, so I'm gonna rewire um, I'm gonna rewire the dial to have the original wires and I wanna have it all hooked up here find the right switch, have it hooked up here as well, and then I can connect all of these wires back to here. Well, some more work to do. Now it's all put together, except the fact that these are not connected to each other yet. But, if I restart it... As you can see, it's ready for use, and I can dial. So I got just left to connect this together and I'm already want to put it inside. But I think that putting it all together will be in the next video. So if you haven't done it by now, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment and see you next time.